Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, Retort Fusion. It's a new fusion spell card, I guess. Very similar to Instant Fusion as we knew of, uh, or know of, right? But now the current, uh, or with the current format, Instant Fusion is that one. But uh, it's of course more flexible than Retort Fusion. Retort Fusion is, you know, very similar to Instant Fusion. Pay a thousand life points, special summon, and that's the difference. One, not one level five or lower, but level six or lower uh, normal fusion from your extra deck. So that means your fusion monster cannot be like an effect monster and I mean I have a couple of effect well a couple of like fusion regular fu or normal fusion monsters here in like my site like an extra deck but uh, I mean there are more um, but the most notable ones I are, are one of you know that comes to mind is of course Theseus um, the best card from 2000, when was it, 2017, 2018, but being a tuner is of course makes, you know, your, which is currently a three of your uh, retort fusion, uh, a potential very splashable card, and who knows that card or retort fusion might be, you know, upgraded for us TCG players too, or upgraded, or you know, might be like, uh, you know, who knows, an ultra or secret rare, because uh, it's a very flexible and splashable card, reading that, you know, 1000 life points cost just special summon any level six or lower you know like fusion normal fusion from your extra deck and there are so many decks that can abuse this or use or abuse this card because again it's so flexible it's a special summon uh, small disadvantage that it does need at least one extra deck space again very similar to instant fusion occupying maybe one to two or maybe even three uh, slots in your extra deck so that's i guess the downside of this card but Again, I have seven decks ready that could potentially use slash abuse this card. And uh, I mean, there are many more. I'll leave like a link to the OCG video in the video description. There are more combos on that or, you know, possible uh, hybrids or decks on there. The, 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 the possibilities are, they, they, they kind of feel endless, right? One of them again is very similar to uh, with instant fusion as it was with instant fusion to go for the you know the level five um, fusion thunder fusion which basically screams titan and keep in mind the OCG still has one colossus life and uh, you know that the card or the deck is much more powerful over there than it is in a TCG. Another option is Megistus. Megistus with uh, Zora, you know, the fire one, uh, reboard something, eventually leads to this particular board. Um, you know, the rank four, uh, equip the link one, search a monster, uh, ending with the fusion. So that's decent, right? That's cool to go for that level four fusion as well, reborn it, yada yada. Uh, another option is, of course, Dragunities, but I'm um, not sure. Dragunities, uh, it, it, it has been a while <laughs> that I played, I think, well over a year that I last played with this deck, but seeing that, you know, with the new support from Ghost from the past, the previously in the OCG, it was a Dragunity structure deck, right? The deck is currently pretty much full force playable in the TCG, because again, LP is still not banned, so you could potentially end with these boards, and again, these boards are not new, we know these boards, um, you know, uploaded multiple videos of them in the past, but um, the thing is, is that your retort fusion and um, it kind of feels like oh, what's it called it's the uh, the wind spirit you know banish your wind i believe from your graveyard it's basically to give you another level four body on the field right uh, a wing beast that is and that could be important for barca if you want but um yeah what i was saying is that okay it's basically another extender i guess not really a starter for the deck but another extender and uh, on top of that, it could be a Link Father play, Romulus play, or Father right. But it comes with a big disadvantage. And of course, that's, you know, it takes up one uh, space, one spot in the extra deck. And I feel that with current, at least the, with this particular version of the deck, LP, uh, to search, you know, eventually both uh, Morphages, um, you know, the, um, again, with this particular board, your opponent cannot do anything. Uh, no spells because of literally in the in the, in the extra deck or at least in the extra or at least in the scales right and then is uh, Goliath as well that prevents both players from uh, or, or, you know no extra deck summon so it's it's a crazy lock but the thing is is that you, you kind of want to get let's say crystal wing uh, out as soon as possible before it's you know or this on your fifth summon, the, the latest, right? Prevent your opponent from using the Biru or other hand trap. So that's where Retort Fusion could come into play. Another option is Infernal Knights. This is a cool one, Flame Swordsman. <laughs> Who would have thought? Flame Swordsman, man. It, I mean, it's again flexible. 
a warrior type, a high level one and the fire one. Um, in hindsight I probably should have gone not for the fire flint uh, lady I believe the name is but to go is it fire flint lady? I believe so. Um, it, I should have gone for I think it's called Reno, right? The level one um, it could be a tuner when it's special summoned and it gets back an equip card from your graveyard when it's summoned. Yeah that's probably that would have been the better play but for the combo you know for video purposes it's not going to matter too much. This is cool Keep recycling, um, you know, keep recycling your tokens, the, the deskbot 01, uh, eventually going for borrows. Again, keep in mind, this is just your f any two card combo uh, could basically do this, right? Uh, featuring uh, Infernal Knight. So Charles hits the board with Arc Light on the field, borrows, um, yeah, the borrows Savage, the Surge, and the Quibs during the end phase. So that's an interruption, negation, or double Omni negation, and a potential Gear Freed in hand. Again, very cool, right? Uh, another option is, of course, any uh, water-oriented deck. Sharks come to mind. Uh, Pelios, maybe? Probably not. But um, um, uh, Mermails or Atlanteans, you know, this hand wasn't that fantastic. It's not like your Mooling Glacia, Deep Sea Diva shenanigans. But, um, I mean, the, the, the beneficial level 4 monster, the Aqua Spirit-alike monster, Definitely helps out. It gives me eventually the search or you know gets me the water in graveyard need to you know use Araya, I believe the name is of the spell, search the um, uh, dragoons from the deck and go from there. So really cool again. It, 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 it's it's not your um, your MVP, but it's just it, it's 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 um, an extender. In most decks, right? Because it's so flexible. Like in here, uh, going for Adam Emancipator, going for the, what's it called? Uh, Mystical Knight? Mystical Sand? Uh, basically a level 6, important level 6. Um, Rock Earth type, again, very important. You could go for an early Appaloosa here, which I should be going to. Yeah, indeed. Um, Adam Emancipator, again, that should be live because of Helky Firebrix in the graveyard. And again, was able to, you know, stack the top card of my deck thanks to Adam Emancipator Science. So Seeker getting a draw eventually off of the Water Run. Uh, this is a great draw. Reptite is cool. I like the, um, the what is it called? The Pranket uh, Adam Emancipator hybrid because. It gives you a wind in your graveyard, so you could potentially use a Reptite during your opponent's turn, right? So targeting something in their graveyard, so that's all cool. Um, the potential Link Summon during your opponent's turn for Unicorn, uh, going for, you know, the level 4 or level 8 Synchro play. So, I mean, it, it's basic stuff, right, for Anim and Sepate. Still of my normal summon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, potentially Unicorn player ready. So, I mean, it's cool. Retort Fusion, you know, for the potential level 6 uh, Fusion play. Uh, last, we cannot overlook Thessius. Uh, well, zombies. I mean, I, I kind of. Well, I, I can't say I kind of skip Thessius, but it speaks for itself. Thessius being the tuner, a flexible tuner from the extra deck, which, you know, again, it basically gives L, uh, every healthy Firebrix dot deck more targets to main deck, right? Because it's so flexible, and I'm, I'm looking at Retort Fusion. But uh, again, like Thessius going for Helki, that's an obvious one. But you could go for uh, like any level 6 zombie here in this case, going for Beatrice. And again, this basically, basically sets up your entire, you know, zombie combo you want with Zombie World, Banshee, well, Banshee into Zombie World during your opponent's turn, using Beatrice to send, uh, what is it called, Baldurak, I believe the name is, you know, the the, 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 the king, right, um, from your deck to the grave. But again, basically full uh, combo for your zombie uh, setup with Zombie World, uh, Doom King, and, uh, and so on, and potentially interruption or negation. So... It's um, it's going to be an iffy card. It's not like, wow, man, this card is broken. But the fact that this card is so flexible makes this card somewhat splashable into a lot of decks. And I feel that it doesn't really come with too many uh, disadvantages. I think the only disadvantage this card has, your Retort Fusion has, is the 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 at least one extra deck space you have to um, you know make free or, or you you need to empty for this particular card. At least one, right? Uh, I'm looking at maybe Thessius, but then again, if you look at the the, the advantages, any healthy Firebrex dot. Dot deck <laughs> lies will 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 will, will splash this card at three right again it, 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 like instant fusion an instant Thessius target and a free uh, tuner from your extra deck to special summon to your side of the field to make your healthy firebreaks combos more uh, you know uh, or easier to go through uh, easier to play so I it it, it feels that this card is going to be um, uh, abusable for a lot of decks and of course I skipped a lot of other decks as well so 
Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.